Hi, I'm Lindsay Corcoran from thedailyshrewsbury.com and this is your weekly news. Robert D. Bushy died on Tuesday after the tree he was cutting on his high street farm fell on him, according to Tim Connolly, spokesperson for the Worcester District Attorney. Bushy, 72, was pronounced dead on the scene of his Christmas tree farm at 14 High Street after he was found underneath a large tree. Apparently, Bushy was trying to cut down a large storm-damaged tree when it fell on top of him, said Fire Captain William Cummings. Family members had been searching for him since the early morning and his son found him around 6 p.m., Cummings said. The family spoke with thedailyshrewsbury.com. Read the full interview online. The Friendly's restaurants in Shrewsbury and Westboro closed for good on Monday after the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in October 2011. The locations in the White City Shopping Center in Shrewsbury and on 303 Turnpike Road in Westboro closed after the company could not restructure lease agreements with the building's landlords. In the latest round of closings, 10 Massachusetts locations were shut down. Another Westboro location on 96 Turnpike Road in Westboro was also shut down in October when the company originally filed for bankruptcy. For more, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. James F. Kane, current chairman of the Board of Selectmen, has announced that he will seek re-election in the annual town election this May. Kane will be running for his second term after winning his seat in May of 2009. He is the only Selectman up for re-election this year. He plans to focus on issues like expanding Shrewsbury's commercial tax base, providing quality municipal services, fiscal restraint, and an inclusive in approach to leadership. For more information on Kane's re-election campaign, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. The Worcester Department of Health, which has regionalized with five area towns, including Shrewsbury, was awarded a grant that will help develop a comprehensive public health plan for the area. The $325,000 grant from the Massachusetts Department of Public Health will be doled out over four years and be used to advance the city's ongoing regionalization efforts with the neighboring towns of Shrewsbury, Holden, Leicester, Millbury, and West Boylston. Shrewsbury first signed on with the City of Worcester in July of 2010 after years of trying to develop a regionalized health system. And according to officials, the program has been successful in helping save the town money. This grant will allow the City of Worcester's P Division of Public Health to provide a range of public health functions and services for all five of the regionalized communities and to begin the development of a regional public health department. For more on this story, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. response. It's an organic thing. Color's like an extra emotion. It's a learned experience. It's alive. Looks like this guy hasn't installed his Selco DTA box yet, have you? In late January, Selco is upgrading its cable system. This means that basic and expanded basic cable subscribers must install a DTA box on each TV to receive uninterrupted service. Just visit selcoupgrade.com to receive up to two free DTA boxes. Don't be left out. Visit selcoupgrade.com to order your own DTA today. The conversation around bullying in the Shrewsbury schools has discouraged bad behavior since last spring, but Oak Middle School will encourage good behavior by changing the conversation starting this month. The program will feature a motivational speaker, Paul Phillips, for the boys on Thursday. Then on January 30th, there will be a film screening of Finding Kind for the girls. All 7th and 8th graders will be a part of these events. The Finding Kind documentary focuses on how early bullying behavior start, can start and how dangerous it can really be, but focuses on the fact that everyone can be kind. Following the creation of the girls' campaign, Oak assistant principal Ann Wenzel said she was approached by a group of boys who decided that they wanted to participate in the conversation as well. The boys created their own video. For more information, read thedailyshrewsbury.com. Thedailyshrewsbury.com turned two on January 11th, marking two years of online community news for the town and two years for myself working here as your reporter. We'd like to thank all of our loyal readers and watchers for making us a success.
I'm Lindsay Corcoran, and this has been your weekly news. To see these stories and much more, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. Be sure to tune in to SPAC 28 again next Thursday at 7 and 10 p.m. Thanks for watching.